This is the second edition of the 2013 Rant Sports NBA Mock Draft. We start first at number one with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Albeit Nerlens Noel is not a franchise projection, he's the easy selection for the Cleveland Cavaliers, should they keep the number one pick. Another Kentucky product off the board at the top of the chart. The Magic are reportedly leaning towards two players in particular with the number two pick. Ben McLemore fits and is the best selection for Orlando in this position. The Wizards will have plenty of options with the number three overall selection. Otto Porter Jr. gives Washington a dynamic backcourt to build towards their future. It remains to be seen whether or not Charlotte will keep this pick. If so, they take the top prospect available at number four, UNLV forward Anthony Bennett. Phoenix needs some backcourt depth, and with McLemore off the board already, Indiana high flyer Victor Oladipo is an easy selection at number five. Although New Orleans selected Anthony Davis with the number one pick a year ago, you can never have too much front court depth. The Pelicans select Maryland sophomore Alex Len. The Kings need to build towards their future under new guidance, and Cody Zeller has been rising up the draft board since the NBA Combine. Detroit is hoping that Michigan point guard Trey Burke slips to them at number eight. Well, here you go, Burke to the Pistons with this selection. There's a lot of criticism circulating around Shabazz Muhammad, but he's a dynamite scorer whose game should translate well to the NBA. Minnesota shouldn't pass on this freshman. C.J. McCollum is a top 10 talent, and there's no way that he should slip past Portland at this point. If the Trailblazers can't move up, this would be an excellent fit moving forward. The Sixers should have plenty of options at number 11, if no surprises fall out of the top 10. Gonzaga 7-footer Kelly Olenek would be a nice addition to the team's front court. If the Thunder aren't sold on Kendrick Perkins inside, maybe it's time to send a message. Rudy Gobert is a legitimate seven-footer by way of France and a worthy selection for Oklahoma City at number 12. Dallas needs help inside and Pittsburgh freshman Steven Adams is quickly climbing up the draft boards. This could be a valuable selection for the Mavericks. The Jazz round out the lottery by filling a need. Michael Carter-Williams is the top point guard remaining at this point and he would make an easy fit in Utah. Who knows what Milwaukee's backcourt might look like next season. The Bucks add Kentavious Caldwell-Pope at number 15. The Celtics reportedly made a promise to German point guard Dennis Schroeder. He's still available here in the selection at number 16. If Mason Plumley is still available at number 17, the Hawks need to make this pick in order to bolster their front court. Atlanta can add some depth with their salary cap space, and they can afford to take a chance on an international prospect at number 18. Russia's Sergei Karasev is the pick. After taking Nerland's Noel at number one, Cleveland can take a little bit of a risk at number 19. Croatian forward Dario Saric could be a star. There's not much of a chance that Gorgi Diang falls further than Chicago at number 20, so this is an easy selection. Jazz need front court help if they can't keep Al Jefferson or Paul Millsap in free agency. Tony Mitchell will help inside. Brooklyn will also bolster their front court at number 22. Kansas senior Jeff Withy is the pick. Indiana wouldn't mind adding some backcourt depth. Miami point guard Shane Larkin is a perfect fit. The Knicks need backcourt help after Jason Kidd's decision to retire. Albeit Jamal Franklin isn't a point guard, he still boosts the rotation. The Clippers will look to add some depth to their backcourt and California's Alan Crabb could be a viable contributor in the coming years. The Timberwolves are going to gamble here at number 26 with Brazilian forward Lucas Naguera. Tim Hardaway Jr. is rising up the draft board and looking like a first round pick. He's a nice fit in Denver. Spurs could use some depth, especially with the aging Manu Ginobili entering the summer unsigned. Reggie Bullock would be a good fit. Oklahoma City has the pieces to take a gamble on a rising international prospect. 
Muhammadu Jatai is worth the risk considering his upside. Speaking of risk and upside, Giannis Atenacumbo is only 18 and he could be a nice addition for the Suns' future. That concludes our first round NBA mock draft here at Rant Sports. Be sure to check back for another update leading up to this June selections.